get the 2023 Clownfish comic books, including Crimson Wren Volume 1 and previously on Clownfish TV. We're offering a limited number of these books in our second chance offer. Go to shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. Uh-oh, uh-oh, guys. Let's talk about this. Apparently, apparently SAG-AFTRA has to answer for its crimes. It's apparently. Crimes, crimes against the union. We're going to talk about this. No, this is, it's in support of the union, according oh, to them. Okay, okay. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to do a follow-up to yesterday's video about Sarah Silverman. Now, if you didn't watch that video, go back and watch it. It goes into a lot more detail. But she was calling out... SAG after because they were letting certain A-listers still film movies during the strike. She was calling them scabs. And she said it really is not fair that they're allowed to continue to work when everybody else is right. not Right, and a lot of the actors that are working are, are, you know, a lot of them are bigger actors who, you know, they're supposed to be there. Like, even though people point out they already have a lot of money, they're there to help the little guy, the little yes. actors, because there's a lot of actors who are extras or who have smaller roles or who do things that don't pay a lot of money. And it's supposed to be to help them, but they're still out there taking money and doing work while these guys are out in the picket line doing all the, all the, all the work. Yeah, so I'm sure they got a lot of lot of questions, a lot of uh, vitriol from their members. Because, I'm sure we're on a list for sure now. Yeah, well, and Sarah Silverman was afraid she was going to be on a list. She had to meet with Fran Drescher in person over this. But yeah, cat's out of the bag now. Apparently, some A-listers, the people who probably lead the, need the money the least, they need the money the least they're the ones out there working on these independent projects. Everybody else is like, I ah, just go out and picket lines and stay out in the mm -hmm. heat and whatever. We're going to go film this movie. Um, so let's talk about this because now SAG-AFTRA has to answer to its members and answer to the press. They're like, what the actual hell? You're telling people to stop work. You're telling influencers they can't cover any studio events at all if they ever want to be a member of this union. Meanwhile, you're letting a whole bunch of your people go do projects. Right, right, right. You know, are you stopping work or are you not stopping work? Yeah, right. And their argument, what, what they're going to make is still, it doesn't make sense. If you're stopping work and you're trying to teach a lesson, you can't still be letting, even if they're independent studios that you like, that may be giving you what you want, you, you, you can't. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, you can't pick and choose. It's not That's not how this works. They're hypocrites, right? They're hypocrites. They're telling... Well, it's Hollywood, so. They're telling influencers, little influencers, you cannot take a couple thousand dollars to promote... Even a, though you're not even in their union. Even though you're not in the union, because someday you might want to be. You can't even take a couple thousand dollars to do a paid sponsorship for anything related to a studio, but we're going to let these Oscar winners go out and film movies during the strike. Mm -hmm. What a bunch of shit. Uh-huh, pretty Again, much. Do you, what do you think of unions now? Seriously, like this is bullshit, right? This mm -hmm. is complete bullshit. Rules for thee, not for me. Exactly. So let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo. Uh, coming from the Hollywood Reporter. SAG AFTRA justifies interim agreements. That's what they're calling it. <laughs> they're trying to justify them to Sarah Silverman. She still said she thought they were full of crap. Oh, yeah. She said that that uh, she thinks uh, Amp Temp. Amp temp can go pound or kick rocks or whatever, but she's not real fond of this deal. She's 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 going she's elaborating on, but I can tell she doesn't think it's very fair that other people have to stop. They're calling it a vital part of our strategic approach mm -hmm. amid the debate. So far, SAG after has granted these packs to projects including A24's Death of a Unicorn and Mother Mary, as well as uh, Hammerstone Studios Flight Risk. So independent smaller studios, although it could be argued, I think at this point, A24 is starting to get a lot bigger, mm -hmm. uh, you know, especially with uh, winning a bunch of Oscars. I just want to say Squid King was a big fan of A24 before they were popular. He liked everything before. It was yeah, cool. but I mean, he, he usually does. He, he, he likes it. You can pretty much guess it's going to be popular soon. Anyway. In a message sent to members Sunday evening, the union's TV theatrical negotiating committee. They just sent out a message. I'm yes, sure they, they did. did. Uh, mm -hmm. We have that memo. They're probably going to take part of it, but yeah. Um, the committee maintained that these agreements are a vital part of our strategic approach during the 2023 negotiations and strike. How, how the majority of projects that are granted these agreements are entirely independent from the companies that comp, uh, comprise the Alliance of motion picture and television producers, uh, whose unresolved negotiations with the union have resulted in the current strike. So their basic argument is they aren't part of the, the amp to put yeah, whatever. they're not a struck studio. They're not. They're not one of the studios. However, 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 you're telling influencers they can't cover shit or they're scabs, even though they have nothing to do 
with the union, but it's okay if union members still work for for studios outside of who you're who you're fighting against, and they don't. They, they that's okay if they do that. Oh well, it's a double standard that we're calling out. It is, and and they're actually they're actually uh, making some exceptions for some studio projects. Some exceptions are being made for extraordinary circumstances mandated by legal considerations, such as uh, Tehran, which is uh, an Apple TV Plus series produced by an Israeli company and shot in Greece. And it's subject to multiple national laws on strikes. Well, when, so that like that, be- when it's something like that, that there's because of legal reasons, I can I can understand them granting these waivers because, you know, they're going to get their asses sued. And there's legal reasons why they can't, you know, obstruct that. But this is ridiculous because they're not members of AMP to P, whatever. AMP to P. They're not members <laughs> of that. Um, they're allowed, you know, and I get I, I, I understand where they're coming from. I, I do because they're not members of the people we're striking against. But you're telling influencers they cannot dress or, or support characters, you know, from these, these studios, and these movies, because they might someday want to be in the union. But it's okay if, if you could let other actors work on projects and, right, and stuff outside right. the union. But then you're going to demand that if you want to act in Hollywood films, even for people that aren't part of Amp to Puta. <laughs> You have to be part of their their union and pay them. You know what I'm saying? It's like you, yeah. be, you can't act unless you're part of our union. Even in these studios that aren't part of that that union or that that group. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is this is bullshit. This is bullshit. Yeah. So these agreements allow members to work you need for a com- flow chart. <laughs> they allow members to work for companies that are not part of the strike and exhibit the wage increases and other terms which AMP Tip has so far rejected are in fact reasonable. Um, yeah, so basically, like we're gonna apply our terms, of things that we want to these independent productions or whatever. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure A24 has given these uh, big stars as much money as like Universal and Disney. I'm sure so, they've so got So basically, it. any studio that isn't part of that big, the big conglomerate thing, yeah. you can do. And I mean, we're, that makes sense. Well, okay, it does make sense. So the flip side of this, the flip side of this is this might actually be the new normal in Hollywood. Well, that's what I'm going to say you know? that if that makes sense, you can't tell people they can't act in Hollywood unless they're part of your union. If yeah. your union members are allowed to go work for other studios, that aren't part of this group, right? Then you can't tell people they can't act in Hollywood unless they're part of your union. I, I think really what it's going to take for Hollywood to change completely is that we have smaller studios producing content on their own terms. And if they want to, they want to, you know, have a deal with their, their people, Hey, we're not going to do AI. We're not going to do this, whatever. That's fine. Then have like universal or Disney or somebody distribute those movies, Mm -hmm. but somebody else. Well, that's why Viola Davis stepped away from her MRC film, which was not part of amp to, but, but cause Amazon's the producer and they're going to be a distributor. Yeah. And she said, I do not feel it would be appropriate for this production to move forward during the strike. I think it's probably uh, because Sarah Silverman got probably. Out. Yeah, I said just a few days earlier, Sarah Silverman had raised concerns about interim agreements that she said she was pissed, arguing that ultimately these independent projects could be sold to companies like true. Netflix or Apple. That's exactly. true. Exactly. Uh, whose production subsidiaries belong to the amp tip. That well, that's probably what's gonna happen. I think I think the result of this, my personal opinion is the result of this is we're gonna have a lot more independent productions that just use the Hollywood system to distribute. But everything is going to wind up working like Image Comics or something where these independent studios are making their own stuff. And then they're just using an established player to well, that's distribute what they're doing. that In the comments yesterday, she was saying about basically st- – well, because we're working with st- – strategic for streaming. Well, yeah. that would imply that these movies, these independent movies are going to be planned to go to streaming services, which means they're going to eventually end up on the struck – Studios. Yes, yes. You're you're making content in a roundabout. You're basically doing an end run. So I I get where Sarah Silverman is coming from. If you tip your head to the side, it's completely fine. It's it's okayish. We were on a break. Yeah, no, we were on a break. No, I mean we were I get, on a break. I, I do get what they're saying as far as the fact that these aren't studios that are part of the the, the people they're striking against. Get that. Don't disagree. However, it's a really bad look when you have people on the picket line and you're saying that we we have to change Hollywood, we have to change the rules, we have to we're all we're not making anything anymore because until we get what we want. And then but some of our people can still work on those because they're independent. And that's what she Sarah Silverman was arguing. It's like it's gonna make it drag on longer. Yeah. Um she said that yeah, they said that it's gonna prolong the strike. Because wh- why? Why should you that's it. If you're universal, you're Disney, be like, well, fine, we don't have to pay these people directly, we don't have to deal with these assholes directly. Cool. Uh, hey, A24, go make us go make this movie and wink, wink when you're done. 
we'll get the rights to it. So there we get our movies without having. And they're to arguing their strategic is their strategic reasoning is because it puts competitive pressure. No, the, it actually makes it easier. Yeah, it makes it easier again. For them to if, just fire your ass. Yeah, if I were a studio and I were looking at this, like, wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. Somebody else can spend their own money. They can take all the risk themselves. They can produce this this movie. They can deal with all the legal liabilities. They can deal with the difficult actors and the PR nightmares and all the shit that could go wrong. And then at the end of the day, we get a finished film that we can just pay them a nominal fee. Because that's what they're going to do. Throw when it the strike's on a platform. Over, they're making it now. So when the strike's over, it'll go right to Netflix yeah. or Amazon Plus or, you know. Yeah. I'd be like, that's a hell of a deal. So I don't have to drop $200 million of my own money and have to deal with all the headaches that go into managing these people. You'll do it. And then you'll, you'll just hand me a finished movie. Yeah, I'll do that instead. That sounds so much better. What this gives me is like, okay, I get what they're saying about the independent studios and and I, and I don't disagree because they're independent. They're not the ones that they're striking against. I got you. However, it's going to be very, it's going to be a PR nightmare because you told the rest of the world, you know, the rest of the world and all these comic con people that you can't, you, you know, you say struck studios, you weren't clarifying what those were. And then people were like, but wait, they're still working. So what difference does it make? But Again, my issue is you can't do movies in Hollywood unless you're part of the union or you're, you, you have to, they make you, 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 that's their threat. You do what we want or you're never going to be allowed to be in the union, but then they don't have to follow the same rules. They can just, okay, yeah, we can just work with them because they're not in the union. You can't have both ways and actors shouldn't have to be in their union to work in other in independent films. No. I mean, these, these are, these are some pretty sizable actors. I mean, it's not like we have, you know, freaking, uh, Tom Hanks in here or but whatever. Paul Rudd, Jenna got, Ortega. Paul Rudd, Jenna Ortega. I know, uh, Matthew McConaughey, I read in another article was doing something and Mark Hathaway, Wahlberg. uh, Mark Wahlberg, uh, Rebel Wilson. I mean, look, it's not like it's a, like a nothing production with nothing actors. These are pretty, pretty, si- I mean, they're B list maybe, but still, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, they're still working. Well, since we're covering independent studios, do we get a waiver to not be allowed to be in the union because we called out their shit? Yeah, there we go. Do I get a waiver for that? Um, Because this this was a a massive, massive overreach to tell influencers they weren't allowed to do jack shit during the strikes. It's like thought crime. It was thought crime. Like, well, you think about cosplaying as a character from your favorite MCU, but you can't do that because we're striking against Disney. But hey. You want to cosplay as Jenna Ortega in this hole in the wall movie nobody's heard about? That's fine. Go ahead, knock That's yourself out. Fine. You know. So before we uh, wrap this up, let's go out to the actual memo. They they put this on their website. I don't think they have comments on this. People are not gonna be happy, but but they're trying to justify it by saying that the uh, interim agreement gives many of our journeymen performers and crews the opportunity to pay their rent and feed their families. Well, it probably does, but all we're hearing about are loopholes for a listers. Right, right. This approach maintains our strength, solidarity, and upper hand. No, and they can still pay their their dues. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> So some of us get to work, but fuck the rest of y'all, right? I mean, that's what solidarity is. Either we all work or we don't that's work. It. That's what they're telling. That's there is no solidarity. Influencers. You have to stand in solidarity because, you know, you have to, because we have to be standing together to make sure that they get what they want. And then they turn around and say, but because uh, independent people that aren't part of this, you know, amp to p- whatever yeah. that they're allowed to go and do it. But when the names you're seeing listed, I'm sure there are other people who are extras and stuff too. I mean, I'm sure there are, but most people that get these waivers are celebrities that, that already make a lot of money. Yes. They're not, they're not the, the, you know, they're trying to make it out like they're doing it for the little guy. And it's not like, Hey, this is so-and-so's first movie and whatever. Oh, it's just some like indie hole in the wall movie with no big stars attached to it. It's like, no, that's not what's going on. Mm-mm. That's not what's going on. Uh, and they're going to try to spin it like, well, we're just trying to see if this would work, you know, and then we can go back to them. We show it's like bullshit, bullshit. Cause the thing is, is that you told your workers, you told your people in your union that Hollywood was basically going to stop. Well, Hollywood's not stopping. No, the big studio. And they're again, they're just going to gobble no, up. These, saying, it's, it's still going on because these are independent studios. Yeah. But they're going to be distributed probably by the big players anyway. Mm-hmm. Again, if I were a studio executive, I would be like, this is one hell of a deal. These people are going to make all the content during the strike. And then we're just going to come to us for us to carry it. Then we're going to carry it and we're going to win. 
we're still going to win. And you know what? That's a pretty good system. We don't have to spend any of our own money. Let's let other people take all the risk. Let's just do it that way from now on. And now we don't need all you anymore. Bye. Yeah, because we're just trying Bye. to use the fact that it's on projects that are outside the, the struck studio, so yeah. it's okay. And well, yeah, I agree. I guess that, that since you're fighting them, that would make it okay. Uh, it just is a bad look, and it's kind of like, well, these people, um, these people are can can still do what they want, but everybody else has to like suffer. Yeah, so I mean, so there's I, not really solidarity there. There's not really solidarity there. It's hypocrisy. Uh, This is why, you know, we talk about unions and why I'm not I don't consider myself anti-union when unions are used what they were supposed to be used for originally, Um, you know, which is usually factory workers working awful conditions and making sure that they you know actually get to see their families and all that. And they're getting compensated. Uh, But you need to in the entertainment industry, you need to be able to cut your own deals. You know, mm-hmm. because, I think, it, I think it, you know, I think there's some protections there, but I also think it muddies things yeah. a bit. And like I said, like I, I get what they're saying, and I think if it's not a a struck studio, I think that it, it, it should be okay to let people work there. But I just don't think that I don't think it's fair. <laughs> but yeah, especially when I especially don't think so when you're threatening influencers. No. Um, you know, over never being allowed to join a union when you're letting your own union people work on projects in uh, independent places. Yeah. Yeah. It's a double standard there. And that's what I have a problem with. All right. So we got to wrap this up. Yes. Okay. Please subscribe. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's the reef dot support.